Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bupesh. So today we'll be taking another uh, topic on open telemetry and a tracing example. See why we are taking this because uh, tracing is a very important, uh, you know, concepts. Uh, distributed tracing, and you know, we should understand how our application is traversing from one endpoint to other endpoint, and if there are any issues, and how we can get those, uh, you know, examples of issues, and how can how we can you know resolve those issues pretty quickly. So if you not have watched the earlier video, you can quickly go to the same playlist. It is then based on open telemetry monitoring on Kubernetes cluster. Now today we'll be looking at everything on Docker based environment. So so that you know if you are using any application onto the Docker based environment, you how you can enable the tracing. And today we'll be using another tool called as Zipkin, which is used for distributed tracing. Now what is the distributed tracing? Uh, we'll quickly spend another 30 seconds for that. And if you're not uh, like and subscribe this channel, please do that from here so that you can get all lot of other knowledgeable videos on tracing Grafana and Kubernetes. Okay. Now let me uh, talk about what are the distributed tracing. Suppose an an web based application contains five endpoints. Now if a you know a request is coming from first endpoint, then how it travels from one endpoint to other endpoint. So it is a complete trace, and each trace is divided into multiple span. So that is what we need to have a distributing distributed tracing enabled in your application so that you can understand uh, how the application is going from one point to another so that is what is a quick you know theoretical explanation i don't want to spend time on that because there is some pretty much available everywhere onto the google now today we'll be doing a, a very popular pet clinic spring boot application uh, we'll make it up and running onto the docker based environment and then we'll try to have a tracing enabled using gip zipkin and then we'll see uh, same thing on to the prometheus certain matrices will be coming to prometheus and then uh, you know uh, and the finally the uh, dashboards you know visibility visibility on uh, grafana so we'll be checking actually four things uh, not three uh, i mean not two so we'll be doing a uh, prometheus uh, metric scraping and then we'll dashboard on grafana so this is the, uh, you can say the, uh, we'll be checking all these things today. Let's quickly uh, jump onto the uh, practical implementation of it. So first of all, we'll install this and then we'll uh, see the Docker Compose file, how to enable Zipkin. And then finally we'll see dashboards uh, on Grafana to see the, uh, all the, uh, you know, important KPIs. So let's quickly jump onto the, uh, implementation of this as you know so there's a there's a github page that i created for this so you can simply clone this repository and then start working on to your docker based environment so so what is this github repository you can simply come here and then see so before i run this first readme section before i run this docker compose up from the central uh, you know location so let me explain a few important aspects of so whenever I'm you know running this Docker Compose up, it will simply come to this Docker Compose file, and uh, it will run all these services one by one. So config server is first service, which will run from this folder. Okay, uh, basically the config server it will name this config server. It will pull image from the Spring uh, you know community, and uh, you know it will be running on port number double eight double eight. Now if I expand this, you know. A folder the server contains on pom.xml where you have all the dependencies and uh, you know it gets rebuilt from may one and then if i click on this application.yaml these are the additional details for bringing up this application up in similar fashion we have all the other applications or you can say endpoints that are you know defined in such a manner so uh, you can go to src you know main and then search resources and then application.yaml so every endpoint has certain parameters that are being passed api gateways of the endpoint config server now config server is the first you know uh, application that will come up and you can see uh, the application.ml now it is again referring to another git repository which is again important to understand there are certain common configurations that we are passing in all these different different endpoints so those application those common configurations are, are here 
Now, if I say this is that repository, I'm calling it into this, uh, you know, uh, the these pet clinic microservices. So, what does this common configuration contains? So, common configuration contains your, you know, if I talk about, let me open uh, the the tracing server, suppose. So, what I'm saying that a tracing server should have uh, this uh, default zone. And let me open you application.yaml. Here we are giving all the logging information. Okay. And then metrics enable when Prometheus enable true. Tracing probability of 1% of tracing. Okay. Now this is again important aspects of it. And then let me see the other configurations. Now let me see the customer service. Now customer service is one of the endpoint and I'm saying that please send all the traffic which is generated by this endpoint to this you know zipkin base url so we'll be you know bringing up zipkin container and then we'll be sending all the um, the traces and the spans to this url now you can ask the question why from where this is coming tracing server follow 9411 because normally zipkin runs on 9411 port but let us let us see from where this you know image is getting pulled up so before I run the Docker Compose up, I was just trying to explain the different different services, and you can clearly expand all these folders, and then do a clean Maven install from your local laptop also by defining any additional you know dependency. Let me come back to this Docker Compose file again. Now this in Docker Compose, you can see the config server is the first service that needs to be run, and then this is the discovery server which is depending on the config server, right? And then the customer service, which just depends on the other two, above two. And then the visit service depends definitely. So everything is depending on config server and the discovery server. Vet service, another endpoint, depends on these two. And then API gateway. And then tracing server. These are the three important things you know you need to understand. What are the tracing servers? So I'm I'm saying that please enable this tracing server, which is pulling an image from you know, open zipkin. Mm, you know. Uh, Docker image and then call it a container called as you know, tracing server and then we'll be using this container as a as a URL. If you see, so I'm using this tracing server here. So whenever this container is up, my all the traces will go to this uh, container at port number nine four one one. Or you can install uh, Zipkin server separately. This is again interesting thing which you know, not everyone will tell tell you that this is your Zipkin distributed tracing. If you come here on the quick start, you can install your Zipkin server at any particular machine. It's not mandatory to to have the Zipkin server running here, but wherever you are installing, have that HTTPS link available and then paste that link to this you know configuration file or application.yaml file. Or you can pass all these things you know uh, simply to this uh, uh, YAML file also. This one. So it is not mandated to have a Zipkin server installed here. You can install anywhere, any on any other machine, and then give simply give the complete path. Fine. So this is the Zipkin server we are installing, and this is the admin server. I mean uh, another endpoint. Now we are installing uh, Grafana also, and from where we are installing Grafana? Grafana, you can say we are asking to install it from this Docker folder. This is what they are saying that please include this Grafana folder. And then in, inside that they have a couple of folders and there's a Docker file. So let me show you the, the Grafana Docker file. So what this Docker file is saying? Please pull Grafana image 5.2.4 and add these uh, you know provisioning as a as a as a you know production volume. I know in inside container. So Grafana INI will come from etc Grafana INI, which is nothing but this one. This is the Grafana INI file. I mean, it's basically the configuration. And what else we are saying? The dashboard should, the default dashboard should come from here. See, this is the default dashboard that will come from here, and this is a data source that will get added to a Grafana. So Prometheus as a data source will add it to the Grafana automatically once we run this Docker Compose file. So this is all about. Uh, you know, having a Grafana setup. Let me come back to the Docker Compose file. So Grafana is up, and then we are setting up 
prometheus server also so it is again coming from this docker folder inside prometheus folder there's a uh, prometheus docker file also what we are doing in this we are simply pulling a prometheus image of 2.4.2 and adding this prometheus yaml which is nothing but your configuration for prometheus so, you know the script configuration okay now this is again important from where prometheus is getting all the metrics so Prometheus will get all the matrices from this script configuration. A job name is Prometheus, which will pull matrices from this localhost 9090. API gateway will push matrices to 8080, which uh, the endpoint, the customer service will send to 8081. Visit service will send to 8082, and wet service will send to 8083. So all the independent in applications are sending matrices to these endpoints, and we are configuring those things into the Prometheus YAML, which will ultimately come to Prometheus. And then we'll create a dashboard on top of uh, you know uh, those matrices in Grafana. So this is a quick understanding of this Docker Compose file. Let me run this Docker Compose without any wasting further time, just for the sake of you know, simplicity. So I'm already into that uh, GitHub repository, and then let me see. Yeah, there are no images. There are no images. There are no containers which are running everything is empty let me rename this as a fine so let me do a docker compose up so so this will pull all your images from to the you know images uh, uh, repositories which we have mentioned so uh, you can see so it is going in you know uh, uh, serial it is pulling all the images once all the images have been pulled, then it will create all the containers. So you will check all those things here. Checking tab. Okay. Let me see images. Images are pulled. Let me see whether the containers are created or not. Containers are getting created. Yeah, so you can see. First of all, uh, the Prometheus. Uh, server got pulled up then grafana server got pulled up and then it is pulling discovery server it is then pulling your uh, uh, spring boot config server and then tracing server is getting pulled up in the same machine i you can install this in somewhere else also else where also as a docker container or a kubernetes container pod basically and then spinning up this other different services like with the service customer service and all these other the services see api gateway so this will keep on running here now let's check uh, uh, whether all the services are up or not so i'll come on to my readme section again the second whether the i'm able to open all the services so i'll come on to my readme page okay let me check whether i'm able to open this discovery server Okay, I'm able, able to open this discovery server, which is nothing but the you know uh, Spring uh, Cloud Eureka home page where I can see how many services are there. One, two, three, four, five. It all are up and running. Okay, and you can see the status are, are there. So this is nothing but Prometheus. So let me run it from here. Now let me see the config server uh, details. So yeah, we have the config server up and running. Now we'll see the API gateway, which is nothing but our pet clinic application. Uh, let me you know click somewhere so that it will generate traces. And let me see the zipkin also. Zipkin is up, okay. And then let me click on. Okay, so let me generate some traffic to zipkin. So let me create a uh, you know one dummy. Uh, you know, veterinary doctor. Okay, I'm putting my on the so the sign. So I'll click here. I'll just uh, edit some more other doctor. I'll just do submit. I'll go here. I'll click here, and then I'm again clicking certain things just to make sure that I'm able to generate certain traffic. Fine. So I have the traffic. A lot of traffic has been generated. I'll click on this. Now, this is my Zipkin home page. You can see it is running on 9411. I'll do this, I'll do this, and then I'll simply run. So I'm I'm able to see the customer service. 
if I run, I, I can get everything. I mean, all traces that are coming. But let me, you know, concentrate myself onto the wet service, and let me run this, and then let me see this. This is the wet service traces. I can see it. Okay, focus on the selected span also, right? And then I can see the details. Fine. So let me uh, check some more traces. Come here, service name, customer service. Run query. Yeah, I was checking the owner's details. So let me just quickly see these details. Yeah, so I can see the time difference here. So, so that is what the important uh, thing I want to show you that we first of all install Pet Clinic and then we can you know, configure to send uh, the traces endpoint to Zipkin via that configuration. Right now, let's see whether the pin is generating uh, the enough level of matrices or not okay so i'll open grafana so grafana is up okay i'll uh, come on to the dashboard okay i can see certain uh, you know uh, traffic is coming uh, to this pet clinic default dashboard right and yeah that is that is pretty much i want to show it quickly uh that how we can uh show the last prometheus url also the prometheus is also up so it was a very basic now the next and very very important thing uh i can modify any of this endpoint to include any further dependencies in pom.xml and then rebuild this entire application right the rebuilding can be done and similarly i can modify any other uh, you know endpoint so why i took pet clinic because pet clinic contains a lot of endpoints so suppose if this is my application i can simply you know add uh, that uh, thing here i mean the form.xml everything and then package it using maven and then finally uh, push it via uh, you know docker and then create that image right so how i can create that image uh, directly you can simply run a maven package and then you can create all the images from this locally also right. so let's not get into that, that detail because if any one developing uh, java developer who you can actually uh, create uh, images uh, local docker images uh, using you know maven package or maven install clean install and then finally those images can be done but yeah uh, if images are already pushed then we can simply use a docker compose file and then you know create all these services one by one and then add dependencies and then finally have uh, uh zip in for tracing and then you know matrices are already there going to prometheus server dashboards are visible from grafana and how the matrices have been configured you can see the docker uh, prometheus folder where we have a docker file and prometheus yaml which where we are having all the you no know, script config so just before wrapping up i can see all the matrices here also i mean so you can see the uh, i just ran up so what all services are up so you can see all the five services are up so you can get all the details here also in Grafana also so i mean uh, i hope you 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 know understand what i'm trying to say this is a very basic um, you know understanding of how to install uh spring boot application and then uh, enable the tracing using zipkin have the methods sent to prometheus have the, those uh, dashboards uh, visible via Grafana. so i will just you know, want to wrap up this video today here itself if you have not liked and subscribed this channel please do that because next videos are again more uh, having more rigor on open telemetry and tracing because that is something which is very very popular and you know need to be implemented across the market so yeah stay tuned we'll keep publishing more videos soon so don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and see you later thank you bye bye